We're gonna kind of dissect a flame. So let's see if we can decompose that wood and get that gas that comes off the wood when it burns. Hey, welcome to Faraday Studios, home of Midnight Science Club. That's it, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna train him, Beckett, on some of the, oh, ancient stuff. Ancient. I'm Wizard 4, right? Quattro. Yeah, Quattro. And Wizard 1 did this, and 2, and 3, and 4. So I've got to pass this on, and to you too, well, it's a demonstration of a decomposition mm -hmm. reaction. So composition would mean... Like putting stuff together. Yeah, and, <clears throat> and decomposition would be... Taking stuff apart. Some part, right. So we're going to take apart... Would you light that candle? I can not light that. We're going to kind of dissect a flame. So what are, let's identify, first of all, take the pointer. What's, what, what, what do we have on the table? I'll point to it. What is it? Candle. What's here? Jar sticks. Jar sticks. Those aren't tongue depressors, aren't they? Sometimes we call those wood splints. And I've got, what is this here? A bowl. A oh, bowl, no dirty metal pan, right? Yep. And what's in this pan right here? Uh, broken. Broken splints. I don't know, that looks like toothpaste, right? Yeah, something like that's that. That's a sealant. We'll get into that in a minute. All right, let's go up to the big stuff here. This is called a ring stand. A ring stand. When you say ring stand, what do they call it? I don't hear it ringing, do you? Nope. That's an old term. Actually, you see this thing? A ring. That's a ring, right? You see how it clamps on? It's got a clamp. Mm -hmm. Clamps onto that rod. That's called a rod. That's the base, right? You don't use them much anymore. This is old chemistry, you know, 100 year old chemistry. But you see what's right out here? Another ring. There's a ring, right? Mm -hmm. And what's it clamped onto? The ring stand. We're taking the rest of the day off now. We got that down, man. What do you think this is right here, this piece of glass? Uh, it's a. It's, come on, it starts with R. It's, this is ancient. A retort. Oh. That's called a retort. I don't know what a tort is, but that's a retort. Oh, I see. You know, chemists for years would put, do a reaction in here. Sometimes I would want to catch the fumes. Where do you think the fumes are going? Up that top. Yeah, yeah, it's right there. Unless it, it go right out that hole yeah, top, so, right? Yeah, Unless so we plug, plug it, it up, yep. right? Mm -hmm. So I'm, we're going we're gonna to plug it up right now. And this is called a ground glass fitting. And this will just fit in there. You see that? And that's called a stopper. I know we're going off sideways on all these little side things, but I thought you might want to learn this old stuff. See, that's called ground glass. It's real smooth and it just fits in there, all right? And you'll see that in chemical laboratories and bottles and stuff like that. This is called a penny stopper. Why do you think they call it a penny stopper? Because it has a round thing on top shaped like a penny. Round thing on top shaped like a penny. Why would they put that on there? So you can pull it out. Yeah, but there's another way, another reason they put it like that. Besides you pull it out like that, is when I pull it out, and I want to keep my hands free, I can go like that. And see, I can still use my hands. That's kind of cool. I can hold it right there, and I can put it back in. That way, if I've got a bunch of stuff going on, and i got to pull that out, and then pour something in, I can put that right on there. It's called a penny stopper. And to make sure that that doesn't leak, it's just a sealer, right? And squeeze it up, squeeze it out just so you can see what it looks like. Because I'm going to put the slightest little bit, I mean the slightest little dab, it doesn't take much. And right below here, see there's a ring, right? Mm -hmm. What is that right there? Some wire mesh. Wire mesh. And that wire mesh, so what am I going to be doing all of a sudden with the, see what this is here? Down here? Where it's is a it? torch. Yeah, torch. I've got a heater, right? Mm -hmm. And what's this thing down below it? A lab jack. Yes, yeah, lab jack. Because see, I can twist that to raise the heat up and down, you know. So what do you think that wire gauze, we call it wire gauze, wire screen, what do you think the purpose of that would be? Mm -hmm. Right? And if I want to, I don't want to make just a spot of heat on the bottom of that thing, because it could melt yeah. or break or crack. So what, is, what do you think that screen does? So the wire mesh or screen, it spreads the heat out so you don't burn one spot. Yeah, that's right. You don't burn it or crack it. Yeah, you're getting it, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So inside we've got some wood splints broken up. And what last little thing down here, what do you see right down there? Uh, it's a stopper with a little hole in it. Yeah, brass pipe. And I put this out here just to protect this glass, you know. So no, it doesn't it, crack me. It doesn't crack and everything. Because these are rare, rare and expensive and I didn't want to break it. So would you take a splint and just light it? Kind of looks just about, hold it right next to the candle flame. They look a lot alike, don't they? Mm -hmm. Look at the same color. They are, aren't they? So that's wax. And this is wood. Wax and wood must have something in common, I guess, maybe. It's around the wood, but it's not really touching it. A space between the flame and the wood. It's just ever so small. Do you see it? Yeah. What do you think's in that space? Air is a type of what? Gas. Yeah. 
There's a gas layer in there, something. So let's see if we can decompose that wood and get that gas that comes off the wood when it burns to come down through here. Hey, it's Jake Wizard 4 here at Faraday Studios. We got our friends over at Hardware Science to put together a sweet little bundle. We call it the Green Bundle. It's a book and a couple of sweet kits that are on sale. Normally this would go together for what, 60 bucks, I heard them say, where we're gonna sell it to you for 40 bucks. These are called Hardware Science Kits and they make a whole bunch of them. They're really cool. You use items that are in the kit and a few things from around the house that allow you to learn how to think like a scientist. This kit is called Desktop hydroponics. You say, I don't think I have anything to do with hydroponics, do I? Yes, you do. It's a part of your daily life. Balloon science. You can get a lot of trouble with balloons. And you can also learn a lot of science, especially basic physics. And some of the secrets of Newton's laws of motion. The Wizard's Book of Science Secrets by, who is it? Who is it? Wizard 4. Son of a gun. He must be a good looking guy. Aha! The green bundle. Here's this setup, this hydroponics it demonstrates how water moves through the soil and gets up to the seed and the seed transpires and grows. This is a completed version of the balloon powered car, a construction and an analog thinking. If you wanna get your hands on this, just check down below and, and it'll show you how to do it. You can order this stuff, but I encourage you to do it quick because we've got a limited number of these and we're not gonna be selling them very long because they're gonna go fast. People really love these kits, so get your hands on them. So I think you can fire that thing up. Oh, sweet. Now remember what you do when you hit something cold, you kind of move it around. You don't, you don't just shock it, you kind of put it, go in there and kind of move that flame around just a little bit. Just kind of move it around, yeah. Kind of warm up everything, right? Because you don't want, they call it thermal shock. Because you're warming everybody up there and they're going, hey, that's hot. So you just kind of pre-warm everything. You think it's kind of preheated now? I bet so. Okay, I can see it. I'm sitting there a little closer on. You know, there's a famous book called Fahrenheit 451. You ever heard that? I've it's heard a of famous, it. Yeah, it's a famous old book. And that 451 is the temperature that paper or cellulose ignites. Mm. You know, it's about a story about book, burning books. Paper will ignite at 451, typically. So we'll be sitting here for a while. Uh, doo -doo, doo -doo 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 -doo. Something's going on in there. Oh, I see it's smoking. It's smoking. Smoking. Oh, it's coming out the end. Is it coming out the end? It is. Okay. Something's decomposing. You see that? Mm-hmm. We can see it condensing right there. Can you see it? Mm-hmm, yeah. Condensation. Condensation is going on here. Well, sometimes, I don't know, you see, oh, look at the end of that thing. Something's coming out. You think that, that could, might be flammable? I wonder what's gonna happen. Got enough yet? Is it trying to burn? I think so. It's trying, isn't it? it, it oh, take, take your thing away. Is it, oh, it's trying. We gotta get that, get some more decomposition going. It was almost trying to ignite. Did you see it? Mm-hmm, it was close. Oh, stuff's happening. Stuff is happening. Yeah, we, we gotta get a little more going. But this does kind of demonstrate, doesn't it, that when something burns, the solid stuff burns, it's actually the gas that's burning. Or if it's gasoline, it still has to be vaporized. Everything that burns like as it has to get the vapor every once in a while. Hopefully, we'll get a little flame at the tip of that. If we don't, it's so cool. Oh, 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 there, oh, there, oh there, we there. got it, yep. We got, got it, it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Get it. Oh, get away. We got it. Do you see it burning? Oh, it's purple, yep. You see the little flame there? Mm-hmm. Fire good. Fire good. Let's point at it and go, fire. We have fire right fire. there. We have fire. 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 You fire see good. that fire? There's no, is there any fire in here? Uh, I don't think so. No. Just fire out here. Decomposing. And there's that little flame. Look at that. Hey, I'm happy camper. Oh, goodness. We got drippage. We got drippage. Drippage. Drippage and fire. We got double. Oh, that's, that's oh, yeah. beautiful. Double oh, man. Yep. You, can't, you can't get any better than that. Got drippage and fire and the same thing. Only here at Faraday Studios would you see something as beautiful as that. We have too much fun. We have too much fun. So if you're going to explain to somebody what you're seeing right here, what are you seeing? The whole thing. So the fire is heating the wood. Heating the wood. Which is decomposing. Decomposing. Let it, releasing a gas. Gas. You can goes see up it. here. Yeah. And then we lit it on fire. And there we lit it on fire. What do you think that drip is? What is that there? The gas condensating at the end of the tube. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of it's water. But look at the color. What? What's that color out there in the tip? There's purple and gold. Yeah, purple and gold, kind of a bluish thing, you know, that's the thing. But see, that's about the same color as the candle was originally. Oh, here, let's do it. Check it out. That's not bad, huh? 
That candle, is it the wax that's burning on the candle? No, it's the gas. Yeah, it's the wax vapor. Something decomposes, we decompose it, and then we burn it as a gas. Can you ever imagine this taking place anywhere? Have you ever seen anything like this anywhere on the earth or anything? Where something decomposes and then you burn the gas? Fossil fuels. You got it, brother. This is fossil fuel sped up, mm. right? Oh, well now, now it's now, now it's now we're getting some decomp going on in there, right? Mm. This is sped up, of course. This is what happens with all the stuff in, in the earth, you know, all the vegetation or whatever it was that, that rotted and decomposed and made natural gas. Well, there's probably a lot of carbon compounds, a whole mess of things. So that, that wood is cellulose. It's mostly hydrogen, oxygen, and carbon. So there's a mishmash of different chemicals. If we kept purifying it, or if we chilled it out even more, then we'd have methyl, a wood alcohol, a fuel. Yeah. So some of that would be a, uh, but I think there's a lot of water in it. We'd have to purify it more, but this is, you could make wood, they call it wood alcohol, mm. methanol. Decomposition of wood, right? Hey, thanks for stopping by today at our, this was a wit training session. I'm glad you could set in on it. And if you want to see more stuff like this, I mean, decomposing wood and using old lab equipment. With drippage. With, with drippage at no extra charge. Two for so, one. Two for one. So where would they find us if they want to do more? Patreon, Patreon YouTube, YouTube, Facebook, Facebook, TikTok, TikTok, Instagram, Instagram. Wow, we're all over the place. All the places.